Disclaimer, today's video is going to be a drinking game video, which means it's likely not going to be the usual family friendly stuff that I make, and it will contain um, drinking, <laughs> consumption of alcohol, um, possibly adult themes, and also quite possibly cursing, so please do use your own discretion when watching this video. And always remember that if you are going to partake in drinking games or any other sort of activities in real life, always do so in moderation and in a safe environment around people that you trust. The general rules for the drinking game are that uh, before I start the challenge I will take one shot just to kick things off and that there will be at least a five minute cool down period uh, between shots just so that I have enough to process what I've already taken uh, because um, I know my limits, and if I hit my limits, I will call things off, take a break, and maybe continue a little while later once things have cooled down. Because while it's fun to have a little drink every now and then, it's important to know when to stop. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the main video. Hello everybody, and welcome back with CAC, as we return to finish what we started with Faith Chapter 3. So done chapter one, done chapter two, all that is cleared out of the way, so it's time to uh, get into the third one, which is apparently like three times as long as uh, the previous one, uh, three different distinct sections. So uh, we'll see how this goes, see how long it takes, and see how many times I mortis. And speaking of which, got another, another shot to start things off. Um, I am uh, recording this over the Christmas weekend, so I'm already a little bit fueled up with uh, Christmas wine and what have you so let's hope uh, let's hope I don't end up getting too far gone with this but uh, kick things off with our first shot of the evening <laughs> Woof. and uh, let's get into it right September 21st, 1986. So this is it, the uh, the first attempt at the exorcism. Oh, look at John. He looks so nervous. Oh, baby's first exorcism. You definitely look it. <laughs> yes, as the demon will attempt to deceive, as is the nature of demons. Okay, so here we are, at the house, everything is grayscale except for me, so we're going through a memory here. <laughs> he does not look happy to be here at all, <laughs> poor John. Hello! Come on ma'am, there we are. Hmm. Different picture. How curious. Hey, come on now. You gotta have some faith, my dude. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, we going or what? You, you want me to lead the way? Come on, you're the senior member here, you should be leading me. Okay, fine. Oh. Wait a minute. This is the attic. Um. Wait! Well, that was weird. But then again, I suppose John couldn't keep his story straight, could he? There are the mannequins again. I assume one of the Martins 
uh, took up tailoring as a hobby. Oh, here we are. Right, yeah, that's it. You you take over. You go ahead. I'll just I'll just wait here. Ah. Hello! Don't you look lovely? <sighs> okay, another dream. But I suppose a dream of past events. Three days until the profane Sabbath. Oh, is it that time already? Gosh, and I haven't even put my decorations up. Um, ooh, letter. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. You must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. You got it, Father Garcia. Okay, so he's still in contact. So, um, again, like the um, previous uh, playthroughs, there are uh, different endings that you can get for this. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get um, the different main endings and things like that, and I'll kind of splice them in and about um, in sort of like an order which I think would be best to show them. Okay, I'm just popping in from the future here. What I'm going to do is splice in one of the endings that I got later, but I thought I'd play it now because basically this is the ending that happens if you don't do anything. If you just give up, go home and refuse to actually do anything, uh, you get the worst ending basically. So I'm going to splice that in here. Oh, he wakes up from his nightmare, his cross is upside down. That's just a sign of things to come. The profane Sabbath. Ooh, that's very foreboding. Ooh. I need to check inside one last... Oh! I saw someone moving in that then. Need to check inside one last time. The key is in the basement. Who is it? Hello? Uh, yes. Uh oh. Uh, um, not today, thank you. Oh, oh god. Oh god, they've all got wiggly heads. Uh, key in the basement, key in the basement. Actually, can I go? No. <laughs> Let's see if I could escape out the back door, but no. Oh, it just saved. Okay. okay. Oh god. Oh god, hello, who are you? Don't like this. Haha, <laughs> missed me. Idiot. Oh, now the door's open. Actually go outside. Oh! Um, no thank you. Oh, hey, barbecue. Can I, uh, can I get you anything? Come on, let's just, uh, just sit down and have a chat, shall we? No? Okay. Uh... I'll just leave you to it then. We get to go into his room. Oh! Amy! Okay, hang on. Uh, Yale Psychiatric Institute, new patient intake form, patient name, Ward John Thomas, 33, male, white Caucasian, James, examination results. Uh, six foot two inches. Oh, I would climb this man like a tree. He's a big boy. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, um, current status, minor cuts and bruises, sprain in left ankle, patient is in state of psychological shock, existing conditions, asthma, dormant, diminished mobility from childhood injury to the right knee. Oh, he just like me for real. But, um, yeah, I, it's kind of paralleling uh, the attic with her standing there and the window is painted on the back wall with a smiley face. It looks like. Uh, hello? Oh. What do they want from me? No. Why are you tormenting me like this? Oh, poor John. I don't know how you ended up here. I just... Oh. Oh, dear. I'm in the forest. Oh, there's the well. Hmm. So he's... Oh! Michael! Oh, I like this music. It's very mournful. Yeah, it's the Michael's house. Oh god, it's all broken up. They didn't deserve this, it should have been me. Oh, John! So that's it, he blames himself for everything that happened, even though it wasn't really his fault. Obviously he must have a ton of survivor's guilt. Everything's just, like, broken down. There it is, the entrance to the abyss. Oh god, everything's flooded. All the mannequins are destroyed. I met the devil in this very room. Yeah. So like for the past year, he must have been torturing himself over this. It's like how he said it should have been me, it's like he thinks he deserves to die instead of the family. I wonder if she's still up there waiting for me. Why did I come up here? Why couldn't I just leave and never come back? Oh. Again, the window looks painted on, or it might just be rot, I don't know. Bob, I wouldn't be breaking client confidentiality like this if we didn't go way back. The situation is starting to worry me. Cindy's delusions are much worse than she initially let on. I was careful to gradually introduce the reality of the situation to her. You were very patient with how she still spoke about them. The fake birthday parties, etc. I thought we were making progress when I got her to accept that she miscarried and that the twins are gone but she now seems convinced that they are trying to make contact with her and that she can find replacements for their spirits to inhabit. Oh, does that sound familiar? Remember the house we found in the village in Nicaragua? Did you tell her about it? I don't know why you would, but I can't think of any other reason for why she would be talking about things like that. Come by my office as soon as you can. We need to talk about what to do next. Ah, oh, that's interesting. If she was looking to make replacements, did she purposely introduce Amy to the cult? Hmm. You could have had, you should have had a normal childhood. I should have saved you. Oh. Aww. 
Oh, the twin's room. No, he, he, he gives up. Oh, hello. Well, hi, Michael. <laughs> you look happy. It's all gone. Damnatio Memori. Basically, um, what's it? Um, destruction of memory or something. When you strike strike something from the record as if it never existed. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's uh, the worst ending. <laughs> that's um, what happens if you let John give up hope completely. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to switch back to uh, the main timeline and give him the best ending. So uh, let's get back to that now. There's that, uh, that room again. Yeah, whatever's in that room must really scare him. Before I go to the front door and get that one, I'll have a quick peek around. Is he... Oh! Oh, he's actually going in the basement this time. Oh, have got a problem with leaking here. Come on, John, fix your pipes. <laughs> Bless the pipes. There's nothing else hiding down here, is there? No. Well, that is, like, maybe some kind of water tanker or something. I don't know. Anyway, nothing in the basement of any interest. Okay, so we've got a note at the back table here. Oh, have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you can try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or start button to review your notes. Okay. Yet another um, thread or pin in the theme of uh, John being delusional and not knowing what's real anymore. Uh, John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened to last year, they went to live with relatives. I will find, try to find what I can. Meanwhile, I'll go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Thank you, Father Garcia. Okay, got the car there. Got a bit of walking around. Can I explore? Oh, a great down here. Let's hope Pennywise isn't down there. You know, John's afraid of clowns. Oh, watching TV. I've got. No idea, some guy repeatedly giving the thumbs up, by the looks of it. John just having a normal one by spying on his neighbours. I'll go over the other side as well. A grey house here. Same sort of thing. Yeah, kid watching the same TV show. Okay, purple child as well though. I suppose the children have been purple, like that one random child in chapter two as well. Leave. Yes, let's go. Ooh, very rumbly kind of sound going on there. Leroy? Is that what that says? Right, one second, I need to get myself an actual drink drink. <coughs> Hey up, watch out. <laughs> hey buddy, what's going on? Oh, hey no, you've got the wrong idea. I, I'm actually uh, pro-choice, you know, the, uh, the church is quite progressive these days. In fact, I myself am bisexual. Or asexual. Or both. It can happen. Happened to me. That's a rat. <sighs> right, we've got a note down here. 
Oh, careful. Calling all metal fans, Beelzefest 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10pm to 2am. Featuring appearances by, when all is said and done, Trust No Corpse, The Horror Is Dead, Basement 2, Electric Boogaloo, Return to Bondage, Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. Sounds delightful. Advanced sale tickets £3, admission on the door 5 sorry, $5. Ah, sounds pretty reasonable. This has got to be clues, right? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, oh. Hey, looking good, buddy. Kawabana. Is that the helix up there? Praise helix. Scruff McGruff. In the balls. The S. That Markiplier's logo. Oh, we're just going around in circles now. Okay. How about the other way, then? I think I'm supposed to go down there where I... I told you! Uh... Got some red guys driving past as well, so we've got some cult activity by the looks. Oh, look! That's, uh, Yuboa. Gaster and uh, is that from I'm Scared? The 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 ghost from I'm Scared? Oh, bird. Oh, oh, it twitched. It must be in its death throes. That's a shame. Maybe it got hit by the truck. Anyway. Don't talk to me. Just don't. Don't even look at me. Oh, John, you are so slow. Okay, you feel watched. No, I don't. Nobody watches my videos. Facts uh, to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Um, oh yeah, Gary, he's back. Hi Rhonda, just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy, our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember our sales points, clean, quick and courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Yeah, because you're up to nefarious things, aren't you? Uh, please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Miss Martin. Oh... One more thing, keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. End facts. Ms. Martin. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's quite dark in here. Oh, hello. Note to self. Pills do not dissolve in IV drip well. Too weak. Patients waking up before process is complete. Sooner or later they will realise they are having the same hallucinations. Suggest concentrated injectable version. That sounds... Sounds... Delightful. Hmm. Okay, so we've got all the notes so far. I just realised that I hadn't been uh, blessing things, so... Baby! Baby! Evil. <laughs> yes! Yes, John, well done. It's like trying to talk to me when I'm drunk. What's this? Is this something here? Looks like a grate of some kind. Right. Yes, well done. You're doing so well. Oh, it's very quiet. Very quiet. Right, well, I can use this crowbar uh, on these boards over the door. But stop. Baby jump scare. Oh. That was the jump scare. Oh no.
Oh! Oh, he wiggle. Okay. Um. Can I... Can I... Uh, oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Am I hiding? Is this... Is this hiding? I'm not sure where I am. Oh. Hello? Are you Jeffrey? That's loss. That's a loss meme in an abortion clinic. <sighs> you can't see me, I'm hiding. Don't come over here. Okay, he's going over that way. So do I, uh... Oh, hello. Peekaboo. Can't see me. <laughs> Wiggle! He wiggled. Wiggle as fast as you can go. <laughs> I'm not sure how he's doing this. Ah. Hi. Oh, I can't. No, I can't go upstairs on this. So I'm gonna have to hide in the bodies. Oh god. Oh god. No. 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 You can't see me. You can't see me. No. No. I'm hiding. No. He's doing a funky little dance. That's it. Go on, walk away. I'm just I'm just another bloodied corpse. Oh. I'm just realizing now where all the wounds are on these bodies. I have a feeling that these abortions weren't performed ethically. Oh I see, he's kind of scooting along with his arms. Oh, well, ah, uh, where do I start? Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Dad, you don't have to point a gun at me. I have my own. Okay. Oh, you want me to lead the way? I thought I was coming with you, not you coming with me. Okay. Uh, sort of sonar sonar pinging is very sort of tense um okay are you gonna take it or am I just bored oh, hello that's just Jeffrey don't worry about it um ah that's what I, yeah that's what I thought Leave me alone. That's it, open fire. Nice. Cool. Is it? Oh. Right, so we're breaking off the boards. Time to get out. What did we. Oh no! Did we, did we actually achieve anything there? I don't think I've found anything. Um, I'm going to tell you now, they are not hippies, they are... Oh. Hmm. Uh. Got hair in my mouth. Can't pick up the gun, but then I wouldn't, because I am a man of the cloth. And the only weapon I need on my side is Jesus. Okay, so there's got to be something else in here, because I came to investigate the clinic, and I found nothing. Well, I found a demon, but... Maybe now that the demon is gone... I can explore... What was in here? Okay, so there's got to be a door... Something behind the door. There was a picture of that grate in the other corridor. So I've got to get in that door somehow. Join us. Um, oh. Uh, where is it? Here we are. When all is said and done, trust no corpse. The horror is dead. Basement 2. Return to bondage among the bloodied, lying still in silence. 
Right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Return to bondage. I strapped myself fully back in for some reason. Absolute madman. Uh, join us. So, among the bloodied and lying still in silence? Okay, then let's lie still in silence and see what happens. Oh, there we are. Door opens. Hmm. Let's go. See, he just fully got... How did he actually strap himself back in like that, though? Oh, hello. Oh, so, uh... So what are you in for? Interpretive dance? I see. Very nice. <laughs> John looks so confused. Oh, shit, he grooving. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, not babies. I hate babies. Babies are a, le a legitimate anxiety trigger for me. Oh no. That sound made me flinch. Hello? Oh, I hate your voice. Oh. You don't look normal to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goodbye. You, whatever all of this is, you keep it. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Oh god. Babies from the vents. Ugh. Oh no. No. Stop it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, this is my nightmare. This is my goddamn nightmare. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> they look like little seals. This is awful. Oh, don't touch me. Oh god. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh, they can't hurt me. They just slow me down. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is so much better. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm being swarmed by demon children, but that's fine. Wait. She wasn't actually wearing that. Is she just birthing them? Ah! Oh, I hate this. Absolutely hate this. <sighs> I'm so glad I cannot have children. <sighs> Smooth moves, priest, but the twins are not here. Carry out the works of your god while it is yet day, for the night cometh. Remember, Gary loves you, and tonight always comes. Hmm. Oh, I can't tell you how much I hated that. <laughs> Okay, we're back, back upstairs now, I guess. Is it time to go home? I think it's time to go home. Whoa. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Leave. Yes. Achievement. Be as a baby. <laughs> Part of a sigil of some kind. Oh god! Oh, oh yes, I'm playing. I'm playing. Okay, what do I do? Tackle her? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Silly me. I must have yeeted it by mistake. Whoopsie. Ow. Oh! Well, how, how did it get over there? Gosh, I'm such a butterfingers today. I like the bass drop that comes with each arm. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm on it. Ah, oh, making me take them back upstairs with my trick knee and everything. I mean, it's your house. Can't you find your own way to... Ugh. I guess it's more for reassurance than anything. Well, I can, um... Yeah. Uh, I, I can guarantee that I won't need to assist him anymore. There's not going to be a father I would left to assist. Wait. Wait. Okay. Um. Okay. That's all. Take it, save her. Nice! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's the sound when something's coming. Oh. Okay. Good morning. Two days until the profane Sabbath. Okay, uh, so I've decided as this is the final part and it's a bit longer and it's broken up into more segments, um, I'm probably, I, well, not probably, I am um, going to do another top-up between each segment, just to make things a little bit more interesting, because I think the past two ones, um, I haven't really got into um, stronger territory as far as the drinks go. So I'm just going to, as we begin the second part, the second day, going to take another shot just to uh, keep spirits high, as it were. So um, cheers. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Chase it down with a bit of... Mm, there we go, that mellows the burnout quite nicely. Alright, let us continue. Mm -hmm. Just another day in the life. Nope. I didn't mean to do that. My thumb slipped. Ooh, I've got lots of letters today. I am popular. Nothing else in the back room, is there? Nope. <coughs> uh, John, for now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 556 Orange Street. Ah yes, the neighbour of the beast. Apartment 5A, New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if for some reason I don't answer the door, get spare key from my friend Tiffany. That's from Lisa. 
John, there's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. Ah, oh, what a coincidence! I'm not able to go up there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Vaya con Dios. Father Garcia. Uh, I don't know if you're getting my list or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbours either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. We gotta go save Lisa. But first, let's check on our neighbours. See what you're watching, buddy. Ooh, pro wrestling. Nice. Body slam! By God! <clears throat> The other house is probably going to be the same, so uh, we're just going to continue on. Uh, leave? Yes. Let's go. Here we are. Nice purple truck over there. Do a little bit of exploring, if we can. Ah, oh, no, not today. Okay. Ugh, gross. Smoker's Corner. Wait, that was the um, sort of like SUV truck thing that was driven by the cultists, right? Hmm. Kind of rumbly in here. Oh, a letter. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry you have wor sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I've been not feeling myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself coming to visit. I've decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will n not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. Well, that's bullshit. I, shall take my from Lisa. I don't need to. For one, that letter addressed me as Mr. Ward when she called me John, and also gave her full name, which I suppose is helpful for looking up on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> One of those names was Clark, like Father Clark, from the last chapter, but probably not. Oh, smashed mirror over here, eh? Okay. Hello, anybody in there? Open up, I'm a priest. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is going to be like the stairs up, right? I mean, I could... they're all broken. Well, oh. um, I suppose I could take the elevator, the lift, but if I do it um, floor by floor at first, make things a little bit more methodical, and then if we need to skip anywhere later, we can always use the, um, the lift. Oh, this door is open. Hello! Anybody in here? Oh. It looks like stairs down, and we've had some blood dragged into it. Oh. What was that banging? Got a note. <coughs> Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven blank by passing them through the blank carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the blank with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. Dagger? Dagger. Okay, can't activate dagger yet. Okay. So we'll have to come back here later. <sighs> My wire keeps catching on me. Okay, up another floor then? Do 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 Up we go. Another broken mirror. Three A closed. Peekaboo, who's in there? Three <coughs> B Oh Blood going behind that door there. Can't get in. We've got a key. Is this Lisa's key? 
key to Lisa's room. Okay. Six, are you in there? No? Okay. Oh. Hi! Amy? Oh. Uh. Well, thanks, I'll be going now. I've been smoking behind this plant. Ugh. Disgusting people. At least dispose of your butts properly if you're gonna smoke. What is that banging? Yeah, more broken mirrors. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder what it could mean. I know in chapter one there was that secret mirror demon. And in the last chapter we had um John in the mirror, the mirror John, but that was a dream. So this should be Lisa's room. There's a cross outside of it, so that's not a good sign. Oh. Hello! Oh Like we have some salt across the doors, but the salt circle has been broken. And is my Thank you, John. I was about to say that, but uh, thanks. Ooh, leaky bathtub. What's this? If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. So I keep hearing. Is my yes, yes, John, I know. Ooh. Oh yeah, knife and mask, okay. Right, let us continue on. Oh, what's this? If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. I'm sure my soul is... steadfast enough. I've been through a lot. Ooh, candles. Ooh. The walls look drippy. What's this here? Elevator friend. Oh, he looks lovely. What a happy smiley face. Timmy. Okay. How 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 lovely. 6A. Even the mirror on the table is broken. Something around here doesn't like mirrors. Oh, there is no seventh floor. Oh. Okay. That's, that's, that's an odd thing to just put there. Ah! Oh, that was elevator friend. Um. Okay, so we can't. No, we can't go to seven. Okay, then let's just skip to eight. Sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Ah. The woman in 5A is Lisa, and I am the pious friend. Oh dear. Ok. 
Okay. Up we go then. So we're almost at the top then. It was ten floors. Ooh. A spooky! <gasps> wow! Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It will be held on Halloween starting at 5pm in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive this newsletter, are invited. Does that mean I'm invited? Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatised after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want to repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats but no tricks. And just another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies, and please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him again. He still has trouble after what happened last year. You will also notice that he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him, for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken to Timmy so well and has become like part of the family. Debbie. Oh no. I, I don't I don't think um I don't think Mr. Miller has good intentions for little Timmy. Or anybody in general. Okay, okay, there's got to be something about getting in that door. So, um... Oh! Hello, who's this? What's up, buddy? This <gasps> <Why? laughs> like some kind of little spaghetti monster. It's a spaghetti man! M. Sacrifice what you cling to. M for maintenance. Basement dumb waiter, how to use. Pull up on handle to open hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumb waiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumb waiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay, that seems like a weird, weird thing to have to clarify, but okay. Hmm. Security camera. Bye. Um, give up the cross? Oh. Okay. Here it goes. Bye bye. I may have made a mistake. Oh, hello. It's a friend. Okay. So, start over at level... Oh. Oh. There's a lot more candles than there were before. Um, if you want to play games, a good level to start over is level one. So let's go back down. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Um. I'm sorry, were you the one that called the elevator? I, I was trying to go down, but... <coughs> Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. Oh! Yeah, that dude. Oh, God. I saw it. Did you run? Yes! Yes, it is. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, and it's dead silent as well. This is like when you're in D&D &D and you tell the DM that you have dark vision, but then he says it's magical darkness. Oh, is that door at the back open now? 
Yes, it is. It's broken. Oh god. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh. There's all symbols up there now. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I'm running. I, oh, that's the way I came. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. Oh! That was the attic. Oh, okay. I can't go that way. So, I guess I have to go through here then? Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me? Ooh. Okay. Their heads were... Like... Ugh. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's it. Oh! Well, that looked very bad. Oh, this is so tense. I'm getting like flash beacon vibes from FNAF. Sister location, or like, um, what's that camera game? The spooky camera game. Uh, Fatal Frame? Oh! No. Okay. Okay. I can't quite see. Is it this way? No. It's not actually anything in here. Okay, maybe I made a wrong turn. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Oh, I must have to. Okay. What am I missing? Ah, the stairs. Yeah, that's right. Why the lights go out? Oh, it's you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you, I don't want any. Go, John, go. Oh, God. Where am I? Oh, no. I accidentally went backwards. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm bleeding. Wait, when did I start bleeding? Okay, is it gone? Oh. Okay, I've got to be getting somewhere. Can't get out. Can't use the uh, lift because all the power's gone. There must be something further along this way. That, oh. Okay. Oh, the basement. Okay. Oh, trail of blood leading this way. That can't be good. Across. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, and the power's back. Good. Alright, what's this? My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood. My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. 
Look for me in the unseen world if you dare. Tiffany. Okay. 70 times 7. Ooh. Mask. Okay. Good. Good. Ah! Okay, that's one of the seals around the door. Good. Not seven. Oh! Oh, hey, it's you. Ah. You keep saying that. Put out your eyes. No, I will not. Um. You can't hide anymore. I'm not hiding, I'm fighting. You're the one who's hiding. Betrayer. I betrayed no one. <laughs> you, you are to her. No. Ha, there we go. Defeated. Oof. Must be the dumb waiter. Okay, well, let's get back to um, normal service. Well, resume. As normal as it ever gets around here, anyway. Oh! oh. Hello. Ah. Oh, he's gone purple. Oh, it's you! <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh. oh, oh, okay, not normal. Normal and good. He's kind of wiggling. I can kind of... Oh. Well, that was, um... Just a brief, brief moment there, just like... I'm fine. It appears that I was acting foolish. Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, oof, we need to go... Um, go find the dagger. Where was the dagger? Why are there so many candles now? Um, I forget where the dagger was. I probably should have started at six and then walked down, but never mind. Here we are. Uh, okay, yeah, so there's Lisa's room. So we can't do that yet because I need to dagger. I think the dagger was below this. If I remember rightly. Doodle. Um. Probably go back on myself at some point to some of these places that I visited. Um, oh, this was Tiffany's room, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, so this is where I went through. Let's do a double check now that everything's... now that all the lights are on. Yeah, Tiffany just casually has an altar in the back of her room. Brothers and sisters, praise the unspeakable. We have been graced with the presence of another great demon. Alu is here. I do not understand his motive, but he has put his seal over the vessel's door. This may be Tiffany's doing, but it may also be a test of our faith. Do not cease to pray, swallow your pills, you may have twice as many as normal. Seal yourselves in with bricks and mortar. If that so-called priest shows up, take him and eviscerate him over the altar, preferably still alive. Remember, Gary loves you. Yeah, that sounds absolutely delightful. I think I'll pass on the evisceration. You know, my doctor says I need to avoid being eviscerated as much as possible. Oh, here we go. This was... This was that uh, delightful little scene that we found. But I 
dead body down there. Can't get to that. Looks like they've had their head taken off. Skulls? Are they skulls? Hmm. Love, lovely uh, hole in the floor there. I love what you've done with the place. Okay, so where was the dagger then? Oh! Time to die? <laughs> that? Love playing games with a spaghetti man. Oh yeah, I can see it has blood on now. Okay, so that should break the seal then. Good. Okay, let's continue exploring the rest of this path, now that I can actually see where I'm going, and I don't have to worry about running away from uh, Mr. Peekaboo. Here we are. This is what caught my attention. That's got to be something. Brothers and sisters, this month will be host to a very special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well not to approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. Do not go down to the hole it will make, no matter whose voice you hear down there. If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve their remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder that rent and utilities are due by Friday. Love, Gary. <laughs> okay, so I guess that was that hole we just saw in um, 3A? 2A? The one above us. Yeah, 2A. Okay, so now we can go back to... Ah, there you are. Back to uh, Lisa's room. Follow me tonight? Uh, no, I don't think I will. That noise is... Oh... Alright, back to five for Lisa. <clears throat> okay, the door is now open. Here we go. Ooh. Hi. Lisa, Dad, got your color eyes. Good. Where do you see black? Well, it's so dark. I can't see through black anymore. You see, it's been a long day. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. Yeah, I'm not a very fast man. Oh. Cool. Love this. Oh, hello. Oh, it's one of these where I have to find the real one, isn't it? Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, move away. John, no, John. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see what this is. If I get possessed, um, then I can kill her. Gotcha! Ooh, don't hurt me. No. Don't hurt her either. That's another window that looks like the one in the attic. John, how are, you, how are you still remaining conscious, like, coughing up this much blood? It's like you're bursting an artery every time. Ah, 
got you that time. No, leave me alone. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, I got two in one there. That was good. Maybe that's like a, a strat. Oh! I let her get too close. I thought I had more time to move, but no. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right, here we go. First mortis of the run. Third shot though, so uh... Oh, my hands are sweaty. Here we go. Whoop, not too much now. The shot cup itself is a double measure, so I don't want to take the whole thing. Just, um... Here's to, um, not getting possessed and killing our friends, or having our possessed friends kill us. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh god, why did you turn around? Alright. There we go. Come on, John. Oh, she's stuck. Haha, <laughs> can't get me. That's it, I've gotten wise to your tricks now, Mr. Alu. Um, there we go, face the correct direction, John, that would be good. This one? I saw you, speedy speed boy. Oh, no, too close. Ah. Uh. Haha, <clears throat> uh -huh, you're stuck. Hmm, no. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Just fountain of blood. Didn't see. Didn't catch it. I'm just uh, doing my little demon boogie over here. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about all the blood on my face. It's absolutely, it's perfectly normal. Okay, that has to be this one, right? Yeah. There's a speedy speed boy. Please don't stand so close to me. This one again? Gotcha. Oh, I think... Off he goes. Goodbye, I guess. Oh, Lisa. Wait, come back. Hey, how you doing? You good? Oh yeah, she good. <laughs> yeah, I figured that out. Figured that out too. I intend to. Uh, I mean, I don't know about that. There are cultists all over this building, but if you say so, uh, God be with you, and best of luck, and all that stuff. I sense another demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Oh good. Um, can we go to the seventh floor yet? Okay. <clears throat> My stomach is burning. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Oh, 
Hello, Mr. Noodle. You, uh, you're gonna... <gasps> that sort of gasp he gave. Oh, another letter. Oh, I didn't come this way last time, did I? Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. Bring it on. What's this? There is a seventh floor. Well, there would have to be. Calm down there, buddy. You don't have to breathe so heavily. Okay. So, um... What about Tiffany? You know Tiffany is still in here and she did, like, the ritual. But where is she? Hello, again. You're right up there. Oh! Mortis. I turned around when I tried to zap him. Oh, I think I'm just outside of my cooldown period as well, so, um, okay. It's another shot. Like how he just says, found you! <laughs> okay. Here's a uh, shot for pressing the correct button at the right time, and uh, just cheers to you and yours, and mm, thanks for watching, if you are indeed watching. Ah, uh. oh, okay, these are getting increasingly harder to take. Mm. <sighs> well, back to it. I'll see you in a dream. Okay, if you say so, buddy. New note. Time to play elevator game. Timmy. Okay. That's some... Okay. Whoa. We've got... Here we are, two notes. Roman numerals at the bottom, so that is one, four, two, six... Two ten five one one four two six. Let me just note that down. So that must be the elevator game. Let's uh, let's try it then and see what happens. One. At least the music is better than most Muzak you hear in elevators. One. Four. I'm going up rather than down. Okay, cool. Oh, hey! Where are you taking that kid? That was elevator friend and what I assume was Timmy. Hello? Um... What? Okay. <coughs>
Hey, come back here. But first, a detour. Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh. No. Oh, that voice. Oh my god, Amy, is that you? Oh, boo hoo. <coughs> Nobody who says that has been normal. See? That is not normal. You did this to yourself? Ugh. Okay, but why? Um... Oh. You've got a... You've got a thing on your um... You know what? It looks fine. It looks good on you. Oh god. Uh... Oh, hello. So this just... God, it's filled with souls. I'm liking the soundtrack here. It kind of reminds me of, um... You know, in Off, the second half of Zone 3, where you have to escape from um, Enoch's facility and the music just goes completely ham. Bad angle. <coughs> oh god! Stop! Stop! Kindly stop doing that! Ah! Oh, John! John! Okay. No, John. Stop teleporting! Oh! Whoop. Okay. Oh. oh, stop. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Mm. It's the bit where they teleport right in front of you that just... Can you keep still for five seconds? Oh, okay. Jesus, this thing's was filled with so many souls. This bad boy can fit so many souls inside. You, you dead? Okay, good. Shut up! Bitch. Well done, priest. You wasted another day aiding a worthless soul, and you got rid of Tiffany for me. Are you sure you know whose side you're on? We'll find out soon enough. Remember, Gary loves you. Bullshit. I'm going home. Can I go? Ah, kid!
Hang on, kid, I'm coming. I'm trying. I'm coming! I can't, can I? No. Oh. I guess this is the only way I can go. Ah! Well, that's normal. Normal and good. Cool and good. I, I, I mean, I guess. Sure. Down he goes. Oh, okay. The music is all over the place right now. Ooh, seven! Oh. Well, he looks happy. Maybe him not so much. Um. He promised me so much, I just want to see my little boy again. The replacement is almost fully formed. Just a few more bodies. Ugh, so you're like building a meat puppet. Ugh. Wasn't there that song about that meat puppet whose name was Timmy? Or it might have been Jimmy. Or maybe Pete. Anyway. That was awful. Oh. I guess that's the only thing there is, unless there's something over this side? 7B is closed. They're just completely oblivious to what's going on. They're like, eh? What is it? Ah. That's none of my business. Okay, I think we can go home now. Ugh. I think I've had quite enough for today. Time for another flashback. Alright, well I received the power up. What? Oh. Oh. Okay, that was spooky. There was a ghosty goo. Did you see it? All the mannequins are back in the normal place. Down there as well. Is that the mum? Ooh. Doesn't seem to be one here. <coughs> Mr. and Mrs. Martin. Oh, thunder outside. Bob's glasses. Wait. There's a spooky behind me. Is that the mirror demon? Or is that something else entirely? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh. Yep, nope, don't like that. I go outside? Ooh! She's looking at me through the window. Aww! Ooh! It's very spooky. Well, I can't leave. <laughs> I 
Oh, did you see his face? He must be so scared. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Hi. Oh no, you didn't. So, uh, yeah. Dead. You're all alone, John. Oh, the voice changed then. Ooh, ooh. She did the spooky jump scare. But yeah, remembering from the notes, um, I think in chapter one it was, um, when he said that Amy said his mum's name, it's Meredith, so... Yeah, Meredith was his mother, and she's obviously using that as a card to get to him. Right, anyway. We're about to start a new section in a new day, so it's time for a new shot. Oh dear, I'm starting to spill. <laughs> That's not a good sign. I think I may have given myself a little bit more than usual, but uh, never mind. Oh well. One more down the hatch. <laughs> oh, let's uh, let's jump back in. Oh, he did a little wiggle then. <laughs> don't know what was going on there. <clears throat> Alright, we don't need to go back to the door. Don't let my sl thumb slip. We know the poor guy's traumatized. Always check the back. Just in case. You never know. Okay. Another letter from Father Garcia. <clears throat> John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behaviour at the daycare centre on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that's the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. But first, we do a peek. Um. Oh no. That's the lady that was on the TV in the apartments. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh spooky skeletal. Lovely, wholesome family imagery. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Leave? Yes. It's time to begin. I should have brought snacks with me, I'm hungry. Oh well. Whoa, wait up there. You mind not running me off the road there, buddy? Why, I ought to give you... Oh, hello. Hi there. Can I come in? I have, um, I'm, I'm a priest. No? Man, this sure does, um, sure does remind me of something. We're, we're not going to talk about that. Hello? No? Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to have to get in all sneaky-like. Just happens to be a person-sized hole in the fence. A riddle, priest. How do you make a portal to hell? Come see me and I'll show you. Oh, that was a pretty crappy riddle. Oop. The tunnels await. 
Ooh. That was some bass. I felt that in my teeth. Is that like a guy with like a fork in his head? Hmm. What's this? Oh, lovely. Ben, age six. How nice. Hmm. This isn't so nice. I don't like that. We've got some... Fl oh, are these flayed bodies? I don't like it. Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Door to chalice is filled, an offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. That's the thing! The fallen star shall guide them. Ah, the fallen star being Lucifer, right? What colours can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. Colours, well I can see. Purple, blue, green. Oh. The star was red in that picture, right? I do love the soundtrack for this. It's all just like this weird ambience which creates a very sort of unsettling atmosphere. Okay. What have we got down here? Oh, cafeteria. Flowers, the sun, rain, lovely. And then over here we've got uh, mushrooms, a uh, monkey, th the preacher from Mandela Catalog, and an orange moon. Okay, orange moon, good. The bell. My dream. Oh. Well, that that that's lovely. He, he just wants to be friends. Uncle Earl. Oh, that's that. Um. What is it? Earl's fishing trip um, game thing. Okay. That looks like a, a demon king with a cup. Uh, chalice is purple. Orange moon, chalice purple. Our family. I, I love the guy who lives on the ceiling. Just like someone outside at a dark night. That's fairly normal. Oh, cool. Robot. Uh, oh, that's the unspeakable, and that me, dead on the floor there, I don't like that, I don't like that one. <laughs> what is that? Thanks, Satin! <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, it changed, it moved over there. What is it? Hmm. And a bluebird, which has pecked out the eyes of a scarecrow. You're all so talented, and I'm so proud of you. What's down here? No! No, that's not- Oh! <laughs> stop, stop, he's already dead. <sighs> America moment. Okay, that, that hardly seems fair, but you know what? I'll abide by it. I am a man of my word. I'm a man who makes stupid decisions, but I keep my word. <laughs> okay, how many are we in now? Five, six shots deep? I don't know. Regardless, uh, God bless America. Oh, I'm going to have such bad indigestion tomorrow. Mm. <clears throat> oh well, let's get back to it. <sighs> right, okay, so it was Orange Moon. Uh, purple Chalice. 
Red Star and Bluebird. <coughs> okay. Down we go. This is where it lives. Oh. Ow, loud. <clears throat> Thank you. Good morning. I'm awake. Ooh, cultists. And they seem to have left some kind of offering here. I will cleanse it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> If you are reading this, then congratulations, you are on your way to experiencing the wonders of our unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother. Gary, our friend. Gary, a normal human being, just like you and me. The more you say it, the less I believe you. As a tier one acolyte, you are just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved only for the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, remember to attend meetings of the Ordre... Eternal Order of the Second Death, twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what is behind the basement door in the basement of the clinic. Oh, you mean Jeffrey? Oh yeah, he's, he's, um... Hello? Those eyes just lit up. Ooh, spookles. Is the same gonna happen here as well? Yeah. She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Okay. Oh. Well, uh... She looks lovely. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Oh, well, this is, uh, this is doing the spookles. I can hear noises of something, like, moving closer. There's, like, something behind her as well. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, well, that was... Um, yeah. Yeah, me too. Secret tunnel. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Pieta Corota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death in the loving brace of Et Mater. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Safe family. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. Oh, that sounds like stompy stomp footsteps. Ah, oh, okay, yes. Saving point. Oh, yeah, it's a hand coming from the face, of course. That's what the picture was on the blackboard that the kids drew. Ah. No, thank you. Hang on. Um, <clears throat> and that's going... That's back. Ah. Okay, so... Can't go that way. Don't, don't, don't touch me. I'm not interested, thank you. Whatever it is you're selling, I'm not buying. Okay. Andrus, so with Discord, East and West trade places. War dog stirreth his pot full of sinners, the seats revolve. Veil giveth favour, the low seats are made high. Five seats in the north facing west, five in the south facing east. Uh, 
Um, okay. So they they need to be divided by half and half and facing opposite ways. Right. Oop. Okay, so what happens if I do this? Is that just kind of flipped up and down? Hmm. Ah, okay, so the first one is Bale. Okay. Okay. Shut up! You are... I don't... I don't think anything actually happened to that. I mean, obviously something happened, but I don't think what it said was supposed to happen, happened. It's almost there, apart from that one chair. Yeah, okay, so that went... Ah! We... Me when I step on a Lego. There's a little black spot. Oh. Oh, the kid's in the, um, the church. Amy. Salmon frozen in the waterfall. Are they... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, John and Lisa. Whoa. Hello. Looking a little uh, crazy there, dude. Okay, these are the... Um, the lyrics to, uh, oh, to, uh, King of Pain. <laughs> She's just skadoodling around like a spider. Oh, loud. Yeah. Now you are ready. Very trippy. Oh. Before I continue, I just want to do, because um, it, it reminded me, the a uh, lot of the visuals of that from um, King of Pain by uh, The Police, which was a song that was in the um, the uh, trailer for this that had uh, John kind of like sing it. And I want to show that just because I think it's adorable. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. It's so adorable. <laughs> and then uh, aside from that, there's also um, in the uh, trailer for Chapter 2, they had him singing... Uh, later tonight by the Pet Shop Boys, which kind of makes you consider a little bit about John, considering what that song is actually about. It's a song about a guy fantasizing about a cute guy he saw, and then he goes home to masturbate over him later that night. 
not the kind of thing a little priest should be singing about. Anyway. Oh yeah, this is a uh, another flashback, right? Oh. Oh. I don't remember anything further. Oh god. Why do you have so many sinks in your bathroom? Priorities. Yeah, that photo still messed up. Hmm. Oh, and there's there's Bob. Oh God. Yeah, I remember. That's what the report said that the parents were blanked with their own blank. Strangled by their own innards, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. It's not. Oh god, Father Allred. Oh, that is... Oh god. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, that would mess with you. We're okay though, right? Yeah, okay. So, time to get back to the real world. So, oh my god. Oh god, they've all been torn apart. You okay? Did we do this? Repent. Did he just say you're going mad? I mean, I guess that's the implication that, like, this guy was begging us for mercy. Repent is written on the wall, and these bloody footprints led right back to where we woke up. Jesus Christ, John, what did you do? <laughs> wow. Oh, hello. Deliver two into Moloch's hands before opening his navel. Oh yeah, Moloch, the, um, the icon of child sacrifice. Underneath the daycare. How lovely. Oh, oh that's the, uh, Sister Bell, the, um, the nun. What is that? Some kind of statue drenched in blood? Oh. I bet you don't do that. I'm just gonna check my notes a second just to see if I've got them all so far. Oh no, I missed one in the... Oh well. Miss two in the um Ah well. Never mind. Clavis L. Left key. Mm -hmm -hmm. 
quad to estes Oh, was it like three statues fused into one? And now they've separated out? Oh, why did I blink then? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, no thank you. Reminded me of one of that, that um... The Elsons with the giant heads from, oh, from off. Funnily enough, they don't anymore. <laughs> Is that moved? Are the walls bleeding? Are the walls always bleeding? Oh, there she is at the church. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to skidoodle around you. Hope you don't mind. Let's play red light, green light. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to be a bit more... Um, a bit more cautious in how far I go. What's that noise? Oh. Make a run for it. I can... Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh good, you brought a friend! Nope. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you! Ah! <sighs> I'm not entirely sure which way I'm going anymore. The pictures are definitely changing. Let's go back and look at the other one. she explode or is that like a mouth opening? Okay, what's up here then? Oh god, hello, who are you? Ah! It's flashing raw shark at me. No, John, turn around. John. I don't like how close it's getting. Oh! Skadoodle, John. Skadoodle for your life. Oh god! Oh. Oh, this is him in the psychiatric ward. Oh god. Oh god, no! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Am I okay?
Oh, it's still here. Okay. This thing is is tough. It's taken some hits. Well, I don't know whether it's tough. It's just very tricky to actually, you know, land some good shots on because of how it uh, how it swoops in. Oh, there we go. A bit more linear. Can't really get enough ground on it to give it a second shot though. Oh, he got me again. I thought I might just be able to squeeze through. So yeah, this thing is basically, oh no, making John relive his memories of what would be one of the most traumatic times for him, really. Oh. Again. I hear noises, but I don't know what they are. Oop, there it is. trying to score whatever shots I can. Got it. Oh! That was the third secret boss. Hooray! Ow. Well, I'm glad that's over. I think that's over. Okay, some cultists in cages here. Hi. I don't like the look of this gloomy wooden table. Why not, John? What's got you all beat up about it? Hmm. Mirror Demon's back. Oh! Okay. Okay. If it makes contact with my... with my reflection, it'll get me. Okay. <sighs> right, time for another one. I've lost count on how many, how many I have. In editing, I'll put a shot counter up the corner so that you can you can keep track of how many I have had. I think this is seven. Seven shots in. Oh, God. Oh, well. Uh, to self-reflection. <laughs> I'm dying. <coughs> Eh.
Hey, it's like a rave. Mm. Back away, John, don't let it get you. Also, we've got to watch out for these cracks or whatever they are. Oh! I th don't think that was meant to happen. I think that was like a glitch, but we'll take it. What am I carrying? Clavis Naval. Whoa, okay. <coughs> You're not just going to suddenly jump out at me, are you? That would be a real dick move. <sighs> oh. My stomach is hating me right now. Wait, I've already been that way. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Whoever painted it must be so proud. Alright, time to, um... Time to place the offerings to Moloch. There we go. Something about accepting in divine sacrifice. Master of spirits, the body of the mother stayeth suspended beneath the crucible of the profane Sabbath. If thou canst unlock the final secret of the crucible, know ye this. The cross hath the power to weaken the mother, but only someone who is ablaze with purifying fire canst truly destroy her. If thou canst understand these words, thou shalt know the true cost of thy faith. Title drop! Okay. You are now a tier 4 acolyte. You have descended beyond everything that could possibly save you. Your words are not your own. Your actions are not your own. You belong, body and spirit, to Gary. Your face itches for the warm embrace of the ritual mask. You long for the blinding pain of the knife. You truly are Gary's chosen vessel. Fear not, only a little longer, and you will experience the second death. Adios, alma perdita. Gary loves you. Yeah, no, I don't think he does. Oh. Nope. Nope. I don't have a lamp. I must have missed something. Ah. I'm supposed to go back on myself. I didn't take a shot because I'm still in my cooldown, so uh, don't yell at me. Um, worrying that the darkness is encroaching behind me. Again, we've just got this deep pulsing ambience. Ah, there we are, a lantern. Oh. There I am. Now only my light remains. Oh, what a horrible noise. Oh. Hello. Hi. Bird. Ooh. Good 
Could you not do that? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Oh, don't like that. Don't like that. Oh. Oh, that's what you are. Oh, you look awful. There's like a path of path of runes to follow and a seal. Okay, so let's uh, follow the runes into the darkness. Oh no! Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's a path. Just follow the path and everything will be fine. Everything is not fine. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is... Oh. Is that like a sacrifice or something? Ooh. Dude! Can you not wait? I'm kind of in peril right now. Okay. Follow it back. Please don't snag my wires right now. missed quite a few notes on this playthrough because um, I've been forgetting to flash things with my cross but uh, I'm gonna play this to get different endings anyway even if I don't show everything on here I'll probably do a note reading later of ones that I missed okay I don't like how quiet it's been. It's like it's lulling me into a false sense of security. There hasn't been a save icon either, so like... It could happen at any point. Oh! The path branches. Well, let's go left first. Oh. oh god, oh god. No! Damn, I just passed my cooldown. Okay. Uh, I'm not approaching my limit for drunkenness, but my stomach is hurting a lot, so um, I'm going to skip this one just for now, but I'm going to grab a snack just to hopefully sell my stomach a little, so... Um, yeah, um, this one I'm gonna sit out. Hopefully I shall be able to do the next one, so back in a moment. Okay, I am back. I have a, a cheese stick and some chocolate. I figure the dairy will help emulsify the alcohol a little bit. Maybe sort of cool down the burning. Anyway. <sighs> okay. 
At least it saves after each one, so that's good. Oop. They're quite fast, these as well. God. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to dodge them. Oh god, there's so many here, there's so many. How narrow that exit is. Oh. Oh, a little house. It's the boys. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, that meme, you know, like the boys. Another cross window like the attic. It's just. Hmm. Okay. My dearest colleague Jacob. Thank you for the letter. I am delighted to hear of the success of your venture in Pennsylvania. However, it was not enough to persuade me to join your cause. I have no interest in crumbling ghost towns, nor government experiments, nor the jimmering behemoths that lurk shamefully in the darkness between worlds. Such matters are not worthy of my expertise. My methods may be more delicate than yours, but I assure you that they were given to me straight from the source. The Antichrist will soon step forth very soon. Oh, I read that wrong. We'll step forth very soon. The second death will consume this world, this pitiful fleshy sphere, still in its infancy, yet everlastingly too late to redeem. When the time comes, I hope we may reunite as cohorts, albeit not as equals. Love always, Gary. P.S. So I almost forgot to thank you for the pet. I will keep it outside my private quarters as a guard against intruders. Oh. That's reassuring. I'm guessing Gary... Yeah, Gary's the red one, because he's in red and everything is red and... Hello? Excuse me? Oh, no thank you. No thank you? No thank you. Ah, turn around, John! No thank you. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Oh! You're taking quite a lot of punishment, aren't you? You're a tough little buddy. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I'm sure all that was a reference to something, but I don't know what. And then I go down this way. Back towards the fork in the path. Oh no, another one. Please leave me alone, I'm not interested. That's mean. That was so mean. Yeah, I... <laughs> Please stop doing that. I cannot take the tension. I will vomit. <sighs> I told you to stop doing that. And yet you keep doing it. I specifically requested the opposite of that. Oh god, oh god, where's the path, where's the path? This way. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I followed the fork again. Mistakes have been made. Please don't screw that. Let me let that screw me up. 
Here we go, back to the bottom. Okay, good. Oh, I need... I need... I need... Mm. Oh! Well, I did it anyway. Hello! Um... Don't mind me. Just passing through. Oh. I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. Oh. Oh god, these people ain't people no more. Oh, it's all just a mass. Is that what is that what's happening now? Oh, everybody's gone. Oh, whoop! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I don't know about that. Nice is a strong word. Oh, hello. This is too much for me. I am so afraid. Please let me escape this place. Aww, baby. I just want to go home. Aww. I don't know, this seems kind of... Hmm... I'll do whatever you want. Just take me away from here. That's a very dangerous thing to say. I swear it. Oh no, John. I think you've made a big mistake there. Oh! That's the Martin house. So that was that a flashback of the night when he tried to escape the house? Because yeah, you've got to think he he was the only one who survived. I mean, apart from Amy herself, obviously. But My name is Gary Miller. hello, Gary. So you're the one behind all this. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on here. There we go, see? That doesn't sound scared, does it? <laughs> nice drip, bro. You have come this far. I suppose you deserve some answers. Fine, you get your request, job, but no more. Answer me these riddles three. Uh... What will you ask about? If I ask about Gary, he's just going to say, I'm a normal human being. But that injection, that was a bit of a drug trip. It, uh, it showed me visuals from King of Pain, which apparently represents John? Hmm. Oh. Hey now. Who said anyone could enter my body? I am a chaste man of God. There will be no entering. Um, 
ask about the boys Malthus. I mean, I guess he's been chasing the boys this whole time, so, uh, the boys. Oh! He's got a, a thing going on. Hurt souls, it's flickering. I'm just trying to think, did John actually see the twins? Because I know they were in his dream. I know he read about them and saw the invitation. In the flashbacks, when he said, I remember nothing further, that was the twins' room. He never actually went into the twins' room. So yeah, I don't think he ever saw the twins. Apart from just... Uh, but for this one, well, it's it's got to be Amy. That's the one fixation that he's had. The thing that he's obsessed over for this past year because it's his failure. Amy. Okay. Well, you know, I try. Despair. Yeah. <laughs> you good? You good now? Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh, here we go. Decay. Yeah, no, I don't think that's gonna happen. On your guard. What? Oh. Oh, he just... Oh! <laughs> Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I put off the last one. I'll do this one. I don't even have anything witty to say. Um, to the second death, I guess. I'm already dying. <sighs> oh. I flashed red for a second then. Okay. Oh, I see. Teleportaling. Oh. That's not something that normal human beings can often do, you know. Oh, I walked straight into that. God, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Look at these skidooly little dudes. I love them. You can't beat me with that. I've survived the corridor of infinite spiders. Oh! Okay. <clears throat> so those red little things made me flash. I don't know why, what they did. Oh, pulling it out early, huh? <laughs> Look at the little fellas, I love them. Oh, hi. Again, huh? That kind of like slows me down, almost. Don't run into the... that would be silly. Yeah, it slows me down. You're doing that one a lot, ain't you? <laughs> You're just playing catch with yourself. <laughs> You're having fun there, buddy. I think he's having fun. 
Okay. Well, there's no, there's no way I could have reached that. Because I die a lot. Oh, it's Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. How are things at the clinic? Oh God, clown demon. My worst nightmare. Poor John. Ow. No, I'm across. No, I'm across. No, I'm across. Oh. I think Gary broke. <laughs> Okay, you're back with us? Ow. Oh. Mm. He tried to grab me. Okay. Oh. Nope, it got me. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. John, please turn around more quickly. Oh, the clown. Oh no. No, no chance. Absolutely no chance. I feel that's a little unfair, but oh well. It is what it is. Okay, we got him. Hey! Let's go! Father Garcia! I'm Father Garcia. It's good to finally meet you, Evo. You too, thank you. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I'm not afraid with you by my side. Hey, slow down, wait for me, I can't go very fast. <coughs> Yes. Me? I will defend this place as best I can. You're the one with the shotgun. Okay. Well, here we go. We just jumping into random holes once more. It's kind of what I do. March 18th, 1934. Miriam is ready. We'll perform the ritual according to her instructions tonight. Successfully gave the second death to Miriam. I've been passing living boo-borns through the newly made portal as quickly as we can get them. So far there has been no response from the other side. After several days of sacrifices, we finally got a response. A tiny hand reached out from the portal. We took the hand and pulled out a baby boy. It appears to be a normal human baby, just like you and me. We named it Gary. Ah. Wait a minute. This is the Martin's house. Gary loves you. Gary is a normal human being, just like you and me. Yeah, I still don't believe you. I'm gonna have to go up into the attic, aren't I? the same. Yeah. All the same thing. Write it down in the basement. Yeah. Oh, all the mannequins, they've all been shredded. Okay, not the basement. So yeah, must be the attic. So that's where the um, the source of John's trauma is. I told them to get those pipes fixed. I mean, it's probably exactly the same one, rather than different iterations of the same one. Hmm. Something just went bang yet, so I don't know what, but... Same one? Yep, same one. Right, come on then. Looks like a frog. My mother, please. She tried to pick up the boy, Germany, but her body was told to withstand it. Sounds like a lovely woman. Oh, she's the earl. I found the perfect vessel to take that armor upon herself. But we both know how that turned out. You're welcome. You have pursued me as far as I will go. I... I don't know how you said me with a capital M, but... I will make you the first mortal to witness the profane Sabbath, and the first to be consumed by it. I'm flattered. Before I do, I will let you in my messy grit. I knew it. Oh. No, thank you.
right, I know those seals block me because that's what happened when I was in the, um, the psych ward. Oop, turn around, John. John! Oh god, I'm on fire! Okay, okay, I can I can get too close to the braziers, that's good to know. That's... <laughs> I've never seen John move so fast. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> Let's try that again. He's zooming. Oh. He was closer than I thought he was. You know what? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay, so I'm going to take one more. Just to, uh, just to keep in the spirit of things. But this will probably be my last one of the game. So, um... To kicking Gary's ass. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, hello. Oh, he's called in help. From a buddy. Okay. This isn't good. Oop. I'd appreciate very much if you'd uh, stop throwing up the seals, you know? Mm. 
Yeah, exactly like that. God! Damn it! More this! Oh, thank God he just decided to zoom instead. He could have got me. Okay. Oh! Congratulations! Ah! Alright, okay, here we go. Oh, I'm loving the beat going on here. It's time to go into full-on bullet hell. Oh! Oh Jesus. My god, Kate, take this cup from me. Okay. I'm loving the beat on this. It reminds me very much of uh, The Only Thing They Fear Is You from Doom Eternal. Skull bombs. Okay, I think I'm in a good position here. Thereabouts. Oh, what a bop! Okay, this fire is getting a bit too close for my liking. Oh, this is toasty. Come on, John, you can do it. I can do this. Just gotta find the gaps. Find the gaps. There we are. Don't have to worry about hitting at times like this. We can. Oh! I walked straight into that. This abomination's power is too great, I think he said. Oh. And yet it is not the end. Come on, I'm getting extra chances here. I can't. Oh, perhaps some divine intervention at last. I'm wasting this. Yes, Lord, I feel thou art with me. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I can't blame you. I know it. it's not your fault you're so slow. Oh, hi. Saving grace transfigures me. 
I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I have enough time. Come on, John. Bah! Okay, I did it. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. Oh. Explode. Oh, God. <laughs> Just covered in blood. Amy. That doesn't sound good. Denied. Okay, thanks for playing. <laughs> Amy? Oh. Amy, I'm so sorry. Oh. I couldn't save you. <laughs> oh, her real voice. Her, just her remains. Oh God, John! Amen. You've been through so much, buddy. But when you think about it, it wasn't even him that started it. He was just oh God. Everyone got massacred. He was just the assistant who got brought in to help Father Allred. He didn't start any of this. But he just blames himself. Damn, John, you look like shit. <laughs> what I encountered out there was truly unspeakable, but I destroyed it with the help of the Lord. Good evil. You destroyed a mighty people that disrupted the prophets of us. But the unspeakable is still out there. That's reassuring. You did know that destroyed. You've grown stronger, John. Hell yeah. I need spiritual warriors like you. Cool. Lisa. Lisa, what are you doing here? Cool. Please go to. You don't have to keep fighting. We can leave this place together. Live the rest of our lives in peace. Lisa, I still have so many questions. I need to figure out this out or I'll never be able to rest. Oh. oh, I hate this. How do I unlock the secret third ending where they all team up together and become a found family? <laughs> as much, I would absolutely love to see like um, either like a sequel or a spin-off where John and Garcia go off together and fight demons, but honestly, he deserves to rest. He's been through so much. Poor guy. I trust you. Let's get out of here. Ah, that's nice. <sighs> okay, those last fights took ages. I am sweating so much. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I am so glad that I finally got the time to actually, um, actually play it. Because, um, 
yeah i just got so invested like in the story just from watching it beforehand like um chapter one and chapter two um and again i'd forgotten about it for so long until it was announced that it came out this year and yeah i i just really wanted to see how it turned out and what happened and i um yeah really enjoyed it love john love my boy um but yeah just what more can i say really good game really enjoyable great style great uh, story really glad i played it so yeah i'm just gonna leave the um ending to a new journey i'm gonna leave the credits playing for a bit um but uh, I'll probably splice in the other endings before I do that. Um, ending one and three, whatever they are. And then leave the credits to play us out. So uh, I'll see you at the end. Ooh, new background unlocked. Well, let's go and check it out then. So yeah, that is it for Faith, the Unholy Trilogy. Amazing game. Really, really loved it. Um, I... Um, hope this isn't the end of this franchise um because i have heard that apparently there is consideration for um further uh spin-offs or sequels or what have you whether or not that is true i don't know it might just be internet rumors but as it is lumpy gary loves you <laughs> very nice Okay, so I'm splicing in here now the um, other ending. This is the neutral ending, uh, so we're just going to play that one now. Don't point that at me! Stop it! <laughs> so this is where we weren't able to break the seal. Yep. You got it. Alright, sorry if there's any background noise at the moment. My computer is completely going ham and it's just grinding away. Um, Father Garcia? Father Garcia! <laughs> Any second now, buddy. Thank you. Okay, good. Hang on. <laughs> Watch where you're pointing that thing. Can you go away? Oh, God. Thanks for having my back there. Ugh. Getting a mortis in the alternate ending, that's embarrassing. There we go. Much better. Devil is real and 
Good job, you know if you are easy. Two faith looks forward, look back. Your career is just beginning. Let me be your teacher. Yay! Which I suppose is kind of like a nice parallel for the one that I chose. Obviously I chose the Lisa ending, but then we have a Garcia ending there. Hey, how come John doesn't get to ride shotgun? <laughs> shotgun. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's the, um, the better of the neutral endings. The other one is if Lisa dies, uh, and then Garcia makes you go with him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think I prefer, prefer that one, really. So, uh, yeah, that's that alternate ending. Uh, let's switch back to the credits uh, to play us out. Uh, bye. Um, so yeah, thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and especially leave a comment because this has been quite a grueling ordeal. An enjoyable one, one that I've loved and I'm really glad that I did, but grueling nonetheless. <laughs> so please, please do leave a comment and let me know if there are any other games that you'd like me to play any other videos you'd like me to watch or react to, any taste tests you'd like my opinion on, any challenges you'd like me to do, and any other ideas for drinking games. I've still got like half a bottle of Fireball here. I'm surprised at how much I've actually gotten through, to be honest. <laughs> it's quite scary. Or if you just want to ask a question or say hello, then let me know down below. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. So until next time, thank you all for joining me, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.